Hello, everybody, Chuck and 1000 for duty. Welcome and get back to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. <coughs> oh, dear me. In the last episode, we um, focused our objectives on completing the two side quests that involved defeating two unique monsters in this particular area. For one unique monster, we managed to defeat no problem. But the other one, we struggled a bit, but we eventually got there in the end. This episode, we need to store power to two certain locations, and it is our primary objective to do them today. In this episode, of course. I'm going to climb down the ladder so I can easily tell the um, enemy to go away. Right, power supply area one. All we need to do is go here and activate that. That's the first one done. Now I'm going to warp to the upper bulkhead bridge to save time and go in Speedy Gonzalez like speed almost down this treadmill. And make our way to the opposite side of power supply area 2. So while I'm actually making my way down over there. Uh, not anything in particular that I need to like discuss. But I guess it's something I could technically ask. Like for those who have actually played the Xenoblade series. Um, we'll focus mainly on this game, but without mentioning spoilers, what would you say would be your best part about this game? I'm pretty certain I've actually asked this question once before, but I think that was a case of asking you what was your favourite part of this Let's Play. But... In this case, I'm just generally curious about what's your favourite part about this game as a whole. But of course, I have been noticing that I feel like it's somewhat of a waste of time for me asking this question. Because, well, Every single time when I've actually been looking at my videos to actually put down the end screen um, thumb thumbnails of the playlist for this game, the next episode is going to be coming after um, one other episode somewhat. So it's like I upload an episode and then I immediately link it to a previous episode so that way it's able to be seen really clearly very easily. But I'm noticing my videos are getting views. But what I am noticing is they're not actually being viewed, in other words. So, like, say, I uploaded a video within 15 seconds of uploading it. I was immediately told that somebody viewed my video, but when I had a look in the analytics, I noticed that zero minutes and zero seconds of the Let's Play episode was actually viewed. And I honestly was not happy to see that because it's like a case of, oh, someone's viewed my video, but they didn't actually view my video. They just loaded it up to put down a comment and then just turn it off again. The whole point about my Let's Plays is for you guys to watch them and enjoy them. But I feel like they're not being watched at all. And it's really hurtful. Because I'm doing all of this for you guys to watch. Yes, I know there are... American YouTubers who are much more better at this than I am. But, to be honest, that's just who I am. I'm not great with commentary. 
I'm not great with editing my videos. I just do everything from scratch and then I upload it just like that. And I think that alone should be appreciated. Because Chugger Conroy, yes, he edits his videos, but how does he edit them? He basically does a Let's Play recording um, where he's not commentating, and then he watches over his videos and records audio of himself commentating on his own video. And you can tell straight away he's doing this because... His commentary doesn't really match with what is happening on the video. So like say, something happened in the video and then five seconds later, he does commentary that is relating to what was shown in the video. That's what I find annoying. Because <clears throat> his commentary is not linked to the video correctly. It's like, you hear me say, I'm jumping off a cliff, and I'm doing the way noise, but you hear me do the way before even jumping off the cliff, or when I've already jumped off the cliff, and then you hear me do it immediately when I land on the ground. That's kind of what I'm getting at. Like, I know there are, there are occasions where people do make mistakes in certain content, and I'm one of those, because I'm basically doing everything completely blind. <clears throat> As in, like, I don't know how to do editing in my videos, I do not know how to do proper commentary, because I hardly ever think of anything worthwhile to talk about. I just love talking about a video game that I'm doing, telling you what I need to do, what you need to do, and all kinds of stuff, really. That's basically me in a nutshell. I love doing everything from start to finish with no editing magic at all. And I think that alone should be given shown signs of appreciation for at least doing it. But no. Nobody even bothers watching my videos. At all. It might consider this like a part of a rant or something, but to be truthfully honest, it's just me expressing my, uh, my um, feelings. Okay, there we go. Reinforced plunger, bright fire cylinder, and machina blade. I think I already have a machina blade, so I'll just take these two and discard that. I'll have a look to be absolutely sure. Yep, I do. Speaking of which... Okay, Melly has maxed out on her honesty. So let's move on to something else. So reliability. Prioritizing this trait improves physical defense. And this one improves ether defense. I think right now I want to focus on real reliability. Uh, Shulk is nearly maxed out on everything. Charlo is getting there. Fiora is almost getting there. Okay, ooh, dear me. Yep, we'll take them. Into the door we go. We'll turn off these laser grid as we make our way to the high velocity lift. Here's the activation panel, so. There we go. But yeah, I don't personally have a favourite in um, this LP, personally. As in, like, this game. I just 
play it for the sake of it, really. Yes, there are some bits actually you have made me laugh when I saw it the first time. <coughs> so there are those bits I do like, but it depends, really. Wow, this lift is actually a really high lift. Good grief. Alright, well, we've made it to the top. Onwards to our destination. Oh, hello. First, um, Sabre... What? Bulkhead, okay. I couldn't read what it said for a second. And what are these? Are these, like, gateways or something? Oh, I see a laser gate. Right, even though I'm actually playing this game completely blind, I actually remember this bit. Here, I'm actually going to like reorganize my team around a little bit. Um, Shulk, I want to actually keep him in the party, but I'm actually going to keep Charlotte in and swap out Fiora for Dunban. Um, this, um, I can't really, like, point together that uh, enemy until we get closer. Whenever you see a fission, run behind these walls for cover. You will be ambushed by these enemies along the way. Just take them out, and you'll be able to... Freely get to where you need to go within due time, and we're not able to move. Okay, so right, come on. At least I should get to listen to this music again, but it's actually going to be like a free. Redundant, well, not so, not redundant, sorry. Um, like, um, well, it's not so much like repetitive, personally, just more of a case of, uh, oh god, excuse me, like you're hearing the same thing again and again, kind of thing, and you might get tired of listening to it. <clears throat> So yeah, the actual face mechon that's in the distance over there will not target you at all unless you are outside from behind the wall. 
So just stay behind the wall. Should be good. And there we go. Enemies are down. We're free to move on. Wait, what? Oh! Oh, there's a vision. Okay, he's actually able to see me. But if I can actually get... Oh, I don't know. Yes, okay, got there. So that enemy has targeted us. So we'll have to go to him. There we go. Are we doing another enchant so that way this vision will not actually come for me? Even though it's actually not going to kill me. Right, I'm just going to do the heal round so that way I can heal my health. And then I'll take the hit. Okay, there we go. He's down. There are more enemies on the way. However, these enemies don't look as though they're going to be challenging me. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Actually, good not they? I just thought, was um, Dunban doing normal damage to a mech on because of his uh, gear? I feel like he might have been. There we go. Oh, I really need to loosen up my shoulders a bit more. Oh. Just a matter of taking things slow and steady in this boss fight. Though I do notice that the music has actually changed. It's not playing the boss fight music. Right, okay. Um, it's... Is that the actual face mech on? I think it is. But we got a couple more of these guys to deal with. So I may as well deal with you. <clears throat> yeah, Dumban's doing normal damage to a mech on, so I don't need to use Monado Enchant. Right, everyone come to me. There you go. Okay, there goes the scout. Now let's give it honey. I don't think a Mekon wants to dance with your dumb man, just saying. I don't know why he says that, to be honest. There you go. Shade face. Okay, on our way now. Right, now I'm going to do Monado Enchant. Going 
going to heal. There we go. We'll just do as much as we can. There we go. Cussing time. And that marks the end of chapter 13. Next time on Steel Blade Chronicles Definitive Edition, we will begin chapter 14. See you guys then.